I raided every Lego brick build droid with Thrawn's Revenge. Some of them were really cool and others looked like they were made by a two year old. I even raided some of Thrawn's own custom designs. According to my analytics, there's a 50% chance that you're not subscribed. So if you want to save me from crying myself to sleep tonight, then please subscribe. Looks like we're starting with one of the recent droidicas that Lego has made. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest. I like the older ones better. The older one? S tier. Automatic S tier. Oh, right heck yeah, First dude. First generation S tier. I completely the agree. droidica that can roll properly. All of the others can't roll. And also, nostalgia too. Nostalgia factor is like through the roof. It was in Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. We might as well do all the droidicas too. Wait, are these two droidicas the same? The left one has the pads and the right one doesn't have the pads. I just feel like we should just both put them at C. It's such a minor difference. Okay, yeah, we'll both put them at C. That one I would put at A. Fairly Wait, really? Good. Yeah, I'd put it in A. I think that one's the closest they've been with new parts. I'm gonna be honest, the picture just to me, it looks like just a bunch of random parts. I'll put it a B. <laughs> a B? Compared to the other droidicas, yeah, we do have to put it above them. What about this droidica? I don't even know if I've actually seen this oh, droidica. I, I do know. feel it's better than the two at C, but worse than the one at B. So maybe put it after that one. I think the eye and the antenna is weirder than the other one. Yeah, I agree. I would put it in yeah. C with the other ones. Sniper we got droid. this one. Automatic D. Automatic D. <laughs> <laughs> really? It does not how the sniper droid works. It looks awful. I don't get it. <laughs> to be fair, it does look pretty dumb. Out of all the droidicas, I would say this is the worst. The probe uh, droid. First, we, we gotta take the original, the, the newest probe droid, put that in S. That new, newest probe droid, the dark gray one, is fantastic. It's the <laughs> best probe droid they've ever done. It's from the Hoth ATST. It does look pretty it's darn solid. Still slightly too big and the arms are a little odd but compared to all the other probe droids they've ever done it's by far the best one what about the black one right here b i don't think it's bad it's not good enough to be an a but it's not bad enough to be at c or d b seems like a good tier for it to be in one of those was from a poly bag the really really bad one that's just two dishes and antennas <laughs> like the, yeah, Terrible. yeah. Awful. yeah. I hate we it. should have added an f tier for this one. <laughs> my eyes are probably gonna that's start rough. bleeding soon yeah the other probe droid i think it'd be like a c the one in B is better, but I feel part of the body is missing. It's just head and arms. Oh, that's so weird. C tier. Gonk droids. Original gonk droid. S tier. If you don't believe the original gonk droid from LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga is an S tier, you're just wrong. Like, that's an incorrect opinion. <laughs> Definitely S for this gonk. I feel like a lot of the gonks, I'd put it B. The only gonk I would not put it B would be the light bluish gray gonk. I would put that at C. Because, like, the original gonk is so hard to beat. And it's not like gonk droids are bad. It's just hard to capture that style. The olive green, sand green one, I'd put it A. I think that one's really unique color. Yeah, this is pretty unique. I do agree. Wait, you said this one would go in A? I'll put that in A. Yeah, I agree with that. I also do like this one, but in terms of putting it really close to S tier with this yeah, gonk droid, I think we got to put all of these at B, all the rest of them. All of them at B? Yeah, I agree okay. with you for that one. Actually, the light bluish gray, I don't is feel it like it's chunky? terrible. Oh, it is pretty chunky. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it in C. We'll put it in C. What is this droid even called? Like Jabba's Palace droid or whatever? Yeah, I, I, I just call it the Jabba's Palace droid. I just remember there's like a dude's brain in it or something. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's actually, I didn't know that. <laughs> this yeah, is that's, weird. that's what it's supposed to be. I would bat for S tier because I had the original Palace droid with that setup and I thought it was so cool. If it's in Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, I feel like it just has to go in S tier. I do really like it. I don't remember it that much from the movie, but I don't think it's that far off, you is see it? You it very shortly. Yeah, S tier would probably be good for that. Two buzz droids. It's hard because I think the buzz droids are a really hard droid to do accurately. Mm -hmm. The left buzz droid, I definitely like more. But yeah. the right buzz droid, nostalgia goggles, again, like that's yeah. a classic design. I do think the left buzz droid is more accurate. I'd put the left buzz droid at A and maybe the right buzz droid at like C. I would probably put this buzz droid at B and then this one at C. I'm gonna Just disagree, but you can do it. Further elaborate, maybe you can <laughs> change my mind. Okay, hold on. So the reason I think the left buzz droid should be at A is because it is the closest buzz droid. They made the buzz smaller by using the winch piece, which I think is really clever. And the right okay. one, those legs are so weird looking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really chunky, but like those are limitations of the time. I think you got me there. I will put this one in A and then I'll put the other one in C. We've got a mouse three droid. mouse droids. Yeah, original mouse droids, I put it A. The original mouse droid is a classic. Oh, for They've sure. always kind of done it that way. The next mouse droid, oh, I really don't like that mouse droid. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it looks wonky, man. I don't know. <laughs> they were 
headlight brick maybe with a black headlight brick. That would have worked a little better. I'd put that one at a B and the other one at a B. Maybe even that one at a C. Yeah, I would yeah. say this one, I would put it at a C. And then this one in B. That one in B. I agree with this one as well. Like, it's close to S tier. I don't know if I want it in A or S tier. One or the you two. It, I don't know which put one. It in high S or uh, higher A. Ah, uh, like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, dwarf spiders? Yes, let's there's, do those. four of them. Holy crap, I didn't realize there were that many of them. What? <laughs> yeah, so one of them's a poly bag from Europe. So the black spider droid, automatic D tier. I hate it. It's <laughs> terrible. I, Dude, I, I actually like have poly. this one. When I first got it, I bought it in a lot. <laughs> when it arrived, I'm like, I don't feel like this deserves to be exposed to like the rest of the world. I see why they yeah, <laughs> made it a European dead. exclusive. The light gray one and the, and the brown one, I put them almost the same. They have slight differences. I'd say the brown one is better than the gray one because I think the brown one is like more classic high a because yeah of the they're very posable models. oh for sure i kind of agree i think they're a tier and are these pieces on the top their heads are those made specifically for them are those like exclusive no pieces? those are the the ball turrets for the atts and oh oh okay that explains yeah, it because i don't have those sets because i'm a cheap guy who buys battle packs all the time yeah these could go in a yeah how about this yeah. one it's another nostalgia thing but like yeah. it's really not good it's better than the one one in D. Yeah. I'd almost, be, I'd almost put it in C. That seems like a good place to put it. Yeah, I agree. Security droids. The one with the blue eye, I like more, but not enough to put it in A or S. Might put it in B and the other one in C. That kind of makes sense. I think I do like the B one better as well. This one, though, they're so f simplistic. Minimal. They put, what, one, two, three, four, five pieces together, and they called it, <laughs> called it a day. Oh. Probably same with this other one. That's probably like around five pieces as well. Round this one just looks so really bad to me. Yeah, the round I like the yeah, round we one. That. We can put the, the white and red one in. Yeah, I I would agree with that. Yeah. Where did you want to put the other one, the one with the blue I don't eye? No, I think it could either do either B or C. Let's do low C for that one. And okay. Then we put the dwarf spider, the blue one, higher. So I think it has more posability. So I think that makes it better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. The two pit droids. The so pit droid with the blue, I think, is a pretty good pit droid model. I'd be willing to put that. In it is a pretty solid model. I agree with that. And I'd put it, like, above the gonk droids, even. Really? Maybe but this one's I, a bit better, I would really say. really good posability. The pit droid after that, I'd put it somewhere in C. Yeah, it's pretty mediocre. I agree with the mid-C tier on that one, yeah. Also, I think we missed the droidica, the polybag droidica. Oh, yeah, yeah we did. That's the worst droidica, but not as bad as the sniper droid. His legs can't move. Yeah, oh my gosh. I don't worst, know. This worst looks pretty... C -tier. Worst C tier. I would bad. even put this in D. Like, it really? looks so bad. Bad. I don't know what it is like. I'll concede the detail. I'll concede the detail. <laughs> yeah. I would put it like maybe just behind this droidica. Cause okay. like it's not as bad as like this right here. No, this maybe I should move this up. Medical droid. The worst medical droid by far is the one that's just a cone with antennas. I don't like that one. I put it in C because it's not that bad because they are kind of like that, but it mm -hmm. has the least interesting parts. I kind of agree. Yeah, low C, like all the way down. Yeah, I put it all the way down. Yeah. Okay, I can um, go with that. The medical droid with tanks. I think it's the best one. The one with the yellow and the red containers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. From Darth Vader's transformation. Yeah, I don't know how accurate it is. Is it really accurate? I think it's fairly accurate. If it's fairly accurate, I might I might want to put it in B. What do you think? I put it in A. Yeah. I put it I put it in low A. How does low A sound? Yeah. Original medical droid. Its colors are everywhere. Middle C. That sounds good. Medical droid, I would probably put at low B. Yeah, that's fair. R1 droids. Honestly, I'm if you like the newest version of the R1 droid, I'd be willing to put it at S tier. I would put the original one in A, and I'd put the newest version in S. Yeah, this is super yeah, accurate. Printed. Yeah, and this is like, yeah, super detailed in general. This is definitely like a better model, but this is like pure nostalgia right here. Where do you want to put this in S tier? Right here? Yeah, I don't think it's better than the OG gonk. Should I move the OG gonk all the way up to the top? <laughs> For the meme, I'll allow it. <laughs> I would prefer the original Droidica to be part of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, like, oh, yeah. wow. And then um, this one, one, where do you want to put it in A tier? Probably bottom, bottom I would say. I'd say bottom A. Yeah, bottom A tier would make sense. Oh, right, and this is this another interrogation Oh, interrogation so, droid. Okay. Red Eye, I would put in A tier. Silver Eye, I'd put in B tier. It's hard to screw up an interrogation droid, in my opinion, because it's yeah. so little and so little parts. But I can one agree with that. The Red Eye that. is accurate, and the one with the Silver Eye is not. That's why I'd put the, the Red Eye in high. I don't know where this came from, but it's listed as a holocron droid. Maybe just C tier, just middle yeah, C Yeah, I don't even know, know what this know. droid is from. The two Treadwells. The Treadwell with the Binox, I think is 
the best. It's got the rotation, which is really cool. I'd be willing to put that at bottom S. Really fantastic. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, I could agree with you for that one. And then the other one, I don't know. It's it is an original. A lot of people really like the classic version of the Treadwell, but I don't know where I'd put it. It was in Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, so you yeah, know yeah, that you know, know what that means. People of culture will say it's good. So I'd say B tier at the least, maybe A tier. I can accept B tier. I don't know. If B tier. I can put it in a -tier, okay, but. okay. I would put it maybe like above the mouse droid. How about you? I put I put it above the mouse droid. And we got whatever that is. Um, <laughs> I don't like what it. even it's is this? Like, what the it's heck? Some sort of autonomous robot. I don't think it has a proper name, but I just don't like it. So little pieces, minimal amount of detail. If I had a girlfriend, she'd probably say, "Oh, it's so cute." Oh, now that you say it's cute, it is kind of growing on me. <laughs> yeah. I think it's so low effort that I'd, I'd put it at the bottom. I would put it higher than the security droid, then the bomb disposal demolition mm. bot. I put it at B. It's a cool yeah. robot, but is it better than Droidica? Though? I don't have much of an opinion on this, if I'm being honest. I'll put it after the three droidicas and after the dwarf spider brown yeah. gonk i do personally like the brown gonk more than the printed gonk if i saw this in star wars i would think it's ugly like probably one of the <laughs> most ugly gonk droids but in terms of like the actual build and potential accuracy i don't know it's probably accurate right yeah i think it is accurate yeah. Let's put it after the dark bluish gray gun. Yeah, okay, I can go with that. Yeah. Then we got the only sequel trilogy droid on this whole list. Praetorian Guard droid. It's a good droid. I do like it. It's more interesting than the security droids for sure. But mm -hmm. it is just a redesign of the security droid. So I just put it above the security droid. Here it is. Yeah, that's fair. So here's the tier list, guys. Very epic. So this tier list is for all the droids that Thrawn designed. These ones are all just probably D tier, right? Oh, um, ouch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Starting with with the crab droids i do like this one better i don't know it just has two more legs and the legs don't look as bare i'd assume they're just really accurate i remember seeing them in the clone wars oh i guess and in episode three i don't know i would say this one's s tier i just really like that one and then this one i mean it's probably really accurate but in terms of how much i like the actual in-universe thing even if this is 100 accurate i don't like the in-universe model <laughs> so yeah, I put it B. I get that. My own personal issue of building that one is that it's bigger than it should be, and I couldn't actually make it smaller without. Oh. Detail. Yeah, a lot of people really like the six-legged one compared to the four-legged one for sure. I can see why. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what this droid is. <laughs> that is the advanced dwarf spider droid. You fight it in one of the levels on Republic Commando, the video game. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't really know like what this droid <laughs> is in terms of how it looks. I don't really like it. If I'm being being honest but uh i'd assume it's really accurate i don't know i'm just gonna put it in c because i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to put any lower i have to be i have to be harsh sometime i don't want to put them all in s tier so people think i'm just a thrawn simp or something i don't even know what this droid is either that's, that's one from nice of the old republic it's an annihilator droid so it's massive it's got a fun color scheme that was my favorite part it yeah the most unusual in colors it sucked to build because it's really large for me when it comes to large models i tend to like them more i'm gonna put it next to this crab droid just because i feel like i would like it just as much as the crab droid i think yeah. they're around the same you know what maybe i'll put i'll put it above the crab droid here we go yeah, because it's bigger because it's bigger this is probably a variant of the b2 super battle droid it is. right it is the b3 ultra droid so ah. it stands twice as tall as a B2. Wow, okay, you know what? Just the concept even makes this probably A tier. It looks really solid. I can't tell what the color is. Is, is this sand green? It's sand green. I was gonna say it's a little bit different than just a standard light or dark bluish gray. Yeah, like, a lot of the concept arts for the B3, they're all a silvery green kind of color. And so I hmm. thought that'd be more fun than making it either like a sand blue or like a dark bluish gray. I don't know what this one is if I'm being yeah, honest. That is from Gendy Tartakovsky's Clone Wars. So the, the animated Clone Wars before the Clone Wars. Oh, um, so, so I should the, know what this is because I watched that yeah, one. Yeah, so that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the T4 chameleon droid. They can go invisible. Which is cool. Oh, Downside, sick. My, my personal complaint that I have with the model is that I couldn't get it in the color I wanted. It's supposed mm. to be closer to like a sand red. There were just not enough parts huh. in sand red. <laughs> so I had to make it reddish brown. Or dark tan. I tried dark tan too. Also didn't work. I would probably put this at maybe C. I don't like just the look of it, I guess. It's a really odd looking droid, yeah. Uh, droidica. Okay. Is this just a standard droidica? It's a standard droidica and... 
it can roll. It does look like it could fold up really well. My one I'm... complaint about it is that it's lightly too tall because it's really hard to get a Droidica in the scale of a minifig. Hmm. You know what? I'll still put it in S tier because I love, I just really love it. You know what? I'll put it above the Crab Droid. It looks better than, in my opinion, all the Lego models that they've made for it. So Dark Trooper, right? Or So that's a specific Dark Trooper. That is the DT security droid. That was the droid that was the predecessor to the Dark Trooper we saw it in the Bad Batch. Ah, all right. Is it so minifigure it, scale? It looks right it around is, there. It is roughly minifigure. It's as close as I could get it. I think it's a hair too tall, but they are actually taller than a minifig. They're really big if you remember them in the show. Oh yeah, yeah, for and sure. That Stormtrooper helmet is actually supposed to just be replaced with a Dark Trooper helmet, but there is no Dark Trooper mold in, in the studio. All right, I will put this in A tier because I think this is legendary. It looks really nice. Actually, I put it above the, what is this, B? B3, uh, yeah, I'll put it above him because it's the right scale. What kind of droid is this? <laughs> I'm gonna so be honest, one, looks kind of funny. <laughs> I have three KOTOR droids on here, so that's another KOTOR droid, Knights of the Old Republic. And ah. A security droid. That was a really hard one to build because it's it's really chunky and it's really wide and there's a lot of greebling textures to add to it and I also wanted to move, like articulate, which was really challenging to get at such a small scale. Just because it looks like Jar Jar Binks because of the two eyes it looks like in a mouth oh i'm gonna put God, an s tier <laughs> lr 57 ah. also a security droid but they're a cis security droid. i remember seeing this in the clone wars and it looks super accurate how is it scale wise i think it's as close to scale as i could get it it is a little tall getting the legs to fit was a real challenge so it hmm. is it is taller than it should be i also don't know if it stands which is why in the model online it has a stand uh, I, have no idea what stands. I think I'll put it at A because the only thing I have against it is if it's unstable, like that would just be a one setback. But other than that, like it looks super good. And if it's a little bit out of scale, I'm not one of those people who cares too much about that. So in terms of like if I actually built this myself, I'd probably be really satisfied with it. Oh dang, I I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's another droid from Gendy Tartakovsky's Clone Wars. That is the ah. droid that we saw in the assault on Moncala. I think I remember this now. Dark red was the, the best one since that's what's available on the droid encyclopedia and i made a cis version as well but that one's not listed here because that doesn't actually exist i would put this at b i think it's pretty solid i don't really have much to say about it i just think it looks pretty good i still like these other models better but this is pretty solid is this called a tridroid octopotter a tridroid oh so, it is a tri oh, so that's but yeah it's a smaller one because okay. the bigger ones are usually blue and use a different rounds so they have different weapons uh, inside okay okay it was based off of someone else's design on Flickr. i made heavy modifications on it to even be able to make it buildable. Their version was just not buildable IRL, so that is buildable IRL and very articulated as much as I could get it. I think it looks really solid. Actually, you know what? Might even put it in S tier. I really love the look of this. In general, how it looks, I really like it. And I remember seeing, like, the larger version in the Clone Wars, and it just brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. I want to do a larger one one day. It's very heavy. Oh, yeah. How do they even stand up in the Star Wars universe? It's gotta be like, they really deny strong physics. Strong legs. Really <laughs> strong legs. <laughs> yeah. Is this a probe droid? That is a probe droid. Ah, yeah. there we go. It definitely looks better than all the Lego models. Is it in scale? No, it's slightly too big. Getting okay. Getting a probe droid in scale is, again, really difficult because they're so close to the size of a minifig and getting something that small. Yeah. Really difficult. So it's closer to like a 1.2 scale. Maybe a 1.1, anywhere between 1.1 and 1.2. Yeah, that's fair. I would probably put this in B because it looks really nice. The scaling's like just a small dock for it and it's hard to get that right, it sounds like. I put it in B. I've seen these before, but I don't know what they're called. Scorpion X. Ah. Yeah, and there's two of them. So there's mm -hmm. the Legends version and the now canon version. They look really snazzy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know which one I like better. Actually, you know, I think I like this one slightly better, just the color scheme. But man, they're just so, so similar. I'd probably put them in the same tier. J I don't know how to explain it. I just love the design. I'll probably put it A tier. Actually, I'll put it above the Dark Trooper for both of them. Now, this one, I'm not completely sure what this is. So that is a shadow droid from the Ooh. Dark Empire comics. There is actually a human brain in there made out of a TIE Fighter pilot. They took slices of TIE Fighter pilot bits threw them together and shoved them in a droid. So it's a weird one. It is also the <laughs> darkest one. Um, yeah, what the heck? There is an actual Lego brain inside the droid. Oh my gosh, that's a nice touch. I think you put a lot into this droid, and just from the explanation, it sounds very interesting. I'll put it 
upper B, like the top B. That is a Sith war droid. It is the predecessor to the Droidica. I can see the similarities. Since it's pretty close to a Droidica, I'm going to put it probably by the Droidica because it looks really cool. I don't really know how accurate it is just because I don't really know what it looks like from the Star Wars universe. I'll put it in S tier also. Is this another variant of a Droidica as well? Yeah, that's the Sniper Droidica. And this time I made sure that it also can roll. The only downside is you have to take the actual barrel off the Droidica and just put it somewhere else when it's rolling because in canon the barrel goes inside the body of the uh. droid no way to replicate that in like <laughs> yeah hey i think that's like as accurate as you can get it i probably put it in s as well because i still like the crab droid a little bit better but yeah this is really solid this one i remember seeing is this from the clone wars as well or is i don't it... know if it's ever actually been shown in the clone wars but it is an another cis droid it is the t4 turret droid i do like it kind of i don't know what it is about it but i will put it probably mid b I'll put it mid-B. If you're interested in getting any of these droids, they will be available on my Brickable. Check all my YouTube and Instagram and Twitch and all that. I rated the logos of some of the most popular LEGO YouTubers in this video. If you would check it out, that would be pretty epic.